Hi everyone, um, welcome to the Holy Land tour with uh, Moses' nephew. And we are here by the Western Wall. But uh, many of you are familiar with um, the Wailing Wall, uh, but what we like to call the Western Wall. And we'll give you a bit of a background a bit uh, about the wall that will understand why this place is the holiest place for the Jewish people, why Jewish people are making pilgrimage from every spot around the world to come over here and to visit this place, to put their wishes in the cracks between the stones. So when we are talking about this mountain that we have over here in front of us, maybe we don't get it that it is a mountain, but it's actually a mountain surrounded by four walls. Uh, this mountain is called Temple Mount, before Mount Moriah. This is two different names for the same mountain. It is the mountain where it is believed that the world was created from. We have a rock over there called Foundation Rock. So the whole world was created from this rock. It is believed that Abraham was willing to sacrifice his son Isaac on top of this rock. For many events, and I just mentioned too, the temple of King Solomon was built over here almost 3,000 years ago. This temple was destroyed and rebuilt um, twice. Last time it was destroyed by the Romans in 70 AD. And then for hundreds of years, um, Jewish people really had the difficulties uh, to come over here to this place. But they wanted to get as close as possible they can get to the temple. Now in the temple, there was a room. And the name of this room in Hebrew is Kodesh HaKodeshim, the Holy of Holies. Where was it located? In the western edge of the temple. Could everybody go over there? No just one and on any day no just one so it was the jewish high priest and it was on a day called yom kippur where was the room again in the western edge of the temple just in just on this day of yom kippur the day of atonement the day that we fast for uh, 24 hours now because we couldn't get over there and because hundreds of years after the dome of the rock and the alaksa mask that we can see uh, we built on top of this mountain. The Jewish people said we will get to the closest point to where was the Holy of Holies in the western part of the temple. And where is that? The western wall. So this wall that was built over here 2,000 years ago by King Herod's got to be the closest that we can get to where we can say that we feel the presence of God the most. Of course, that God is all around and not in one specific place. But there is something very spiritual of getting over here as we know that it is so close to the place where really God made those miracles. And we are coming over here from all over, like I said, and we're putting our wishes. It is divided to men and women. Men are going to the left and women are going to the right. And we're writing something, if it is for us, for our families, for our friends, for our loved ones, something that they want to wish for. It could be everything, it could be good health, and it could be long life. And we're putting them in the cracks between the stones. Hopefully, God will answer our wishes. So, a uh, few more of the ceremonies we have is, if you see the two ladies over there, behind them, uh, there is a fountain. Just over there in between them, there is a fountain. And people fill these uh, vessels, these jars, with water. And then, they wash their hands. They wash their right hand three times, and they wash their left hand for three times. Because you're coming to such a special place, when you touch it, your hands should be pure. The man, before they get into the, to the Western Wall, they put a kippah, they put a hat, because um, you want to show God that you're also aware to the separation there is between you. So press it once, and then you can put three times on your right hand, then three times on your left hand, and now you are purified. Now you can touch the Western Wall, what is known also as the Wailing Wall, because for many of the Jewish people that are coming over here, this place is so emotional. It is also exciting. So uh, when we get close to the wall, yes, sometimes we share a few tears. I want to thank you for uh, watching the video. Uh, subscribe me, uh, The Holy Land with Moses' Nephew, uh, with Itamar. And I hope that you also enjoy the next video that I'm going to share with you.